here we are again in the shed this time uh, with a cup of tea put that down for a minute uh, a few years ago I wrote an article called how to do the great British tea meditation um, and it, it's a bit of a tongue-in-cheek look at meditation and tea and all the rest of it and a lot of people have uh, said they'd love to hear it so I thought I'd read it out for you especially in these dark times when any any, any glimpse of um, positivity and hope is welcome so the great British tea meditation so what is meditation I used to believe it was an ancient art practiced only by those who owned ceremonial robes and were the sort of people my mother would steer me away from now I'm older and wiser, I've come to understand that meditation is just a way of closing down the minds to reach a point of quiet where the inner mind can be heard. There are many reasons for meditation, ranging from personal healing to mediumship and channeling, and there are many ways of doing it too, all with the recommendation of the people who use it, but at the end of the day it's whatever works for you. You may have realised I am British, and brought up in the north of England, um, in the fine tradition of tea. So many jokes have been made about when in crisis we always put the kettle on and have a cup of tea but it really has got some worth to it and I will explain why but firstly it's important to make sure you get it right. Okay. Of course I'm using tea but any drink will do but my dad and my granddad will be turning in the graves now at the thought that you'd be using anything other than tea. So you can use coffee or whatever you like, but proper tea is the best. So first of all, put the kettle on. Um, this phrase in itself is all that's needed to know that things are going to be okay and they're going to turn out well. Whenever there's a crisis, the kettle is the first thing to be employed. Just watch any British drama. We would not have won the war if Hitler had have bombed the kettles and not the factories. Prepare the tea. I know tea bags are the thing to use today, but loose tea is the best. Um, it gives a stronger cup and also has more flavour. Uh, tea bags can have poor quality tea in them and the bags do not allow the water to roll around inside and infuse the, the tea properly. Add water to the tea. So let me put the record straight. If you're using black tea, the water has to be added on the rolling boil. So in other words, the water is rolling. So when you turn the kettle off, the water's still rolling. And that then spins the tea around. If you um, use green tea, that has to be put in at 80 degrees. So the experts say. Okay. Um, I've been in cafes where you've been given a cup of warm water and a separate tea bag and that's just sacrilege. I'm afraid that just won't wash. I've, so allow it to brew. Tea bags can be removed after two minutes uh, because they're generally low grade tea inside them and all it does is add tannins to the tea after this time. Real tea can be left to brew a bit longer and some flavored teas are recommended to brew for four to six minutes to let all the flavor out. Pouring out. If you're using a teapot, you may need a strainer to keep the tea leaves in the pot and not in the cup. You can, of course, let the leaves into the cup um, and then read them later. So that's personal preference. Uh, but the bitter taste of the leaves may outweigh any enthusiastic ideas of foretelling the future. Add milk and sugar. Never put the milk in first. This was only done to protect bone china from cracking in the days when we had an empire. We no longer have an empire, and if the truth be known, we don't have any fine bone china cups left. So the tea goes in first. Sugar is personal taste, or lemon if you're drinking Earl Grey, or things like that. To make a perfect builder's tea, then tea should be strong. English breakfast is ideal because it has it's a strong pick me up for first thing in the morning. If you go to Scottish breakfast, that's a little bit stronger. Or you can go stronger still to Irish breakfast, where legend has it 
that you can stand the, the spoon in the tea and it will stand upright if it's made properly. Um, so builder's tea, milk and two sugars. Strong tea, milk, two sugars. Now sit down, take your shoes off, relax. Caress the cup in both hands, obviously making sure it's not too hot, and let the meditation begin. Okay, I've had a bit of a rant about making a cup of tea. Um, that's because I'm British. But sitting down and relaxing with a cup has been go going on in Britain for a long time. It's a tradition. By sitting in silence and relaxing, we are taking in positive energy with every sip of tea. And with every out breath, we're taking away the negative stress of the day or, or the situation that we've just been involved with. Before long, you'll be in a happy place. And you'll be reluctant to leave it once the tea started having an effect. So as it goes down into the heart space, you'll be feeling fine and more able to take on the world in a more positive way once the meditation is finished. And it's while you're in this state, you'll be made aware of the answers to the problems you've been pondering for a while. I've observed many such meditations when a member of the family has suddenly reared up and said, I've got the answer now, I know what I'm gonna do. And again, I have many mechanics, many builders, I've sat round in a tea meditation and they've stood up and somebody said, I know exactly what's wrong with that car now, or I know exactly how I'm gonna get that wall around that tree, I've now got the answer. Just as in any meditation, if you quiet your logical thinking minds, you will allow your inner voice to come forward and speak. And it's your inner voice that knows the answers. So it doesn't matter how you do it, then by quieting the mind and going into that inner space, the answers will come through. How do you think we won the war? Okay. And if you have a grand master of tea, so somebody leading the meditation. He may lead the meditation with a simple instruction. Get that down your neck. I hope that helps.